Hey everybody, welcome to Buratech. In this episode, we're going to be exploring the possibility of Epic Games buying out Skira, the makers of Construct 3, to add the eventing system into the Unreal Engine. Alright, welcome back. Before we start this video, I want to make sure that you like and subscribe. The more subscribers we get, the more content we can make. It might not mean a lot to you, but if this video got a thousand likes, it would mean a lot to me. Remember that this channel doesn't do a Patreon and said we sell our digital products down below. The more money we get from the products that you buy below, the more content we can make. All right, so a few videos ago, I talked about Tesla buying out Boosted Boards, and then literally a week later, Boosted Boards filed for bankruptcy. This was completely unexpected, especially because it raised $60 million from a Canadian venture capital fund. So if you like this video, you can check it out here. And if you really like this kind of topic, that is companies that should buy out other companies, I can make it a regular thing on this channel. Please comment down below if you like this format. So when you run a company, getting bought out by a bigger company is a goal that every entrepreneur and CEO should have. And one of the things that you need to understand about this process is that it is one of the more desirable outcomes to a business. Of course, there are many undesirable outcomes such as running out of money, completely going out of business, or failing to IPO. The one thing that is really good though is obviously selling your business to a bigger company. In fact, a lot of entrepreneurs do this for their retirement. So let's talk about the topic of this video. Should Epic Games buy out Skira? So you don't know what Skira is. Skira is a British company that makes the software Construct 3. They also made Construct 2 and Construct. And this is a very good game engine. In fact, it's one of my favorite game engines out there. Now, Construct 3 is amazing, and I've said this many times in the past, that whenever I go to an engine, I always come back to Construct 3 because it is so easy to use. And one of the reasons why it's so easy to use is its eventing system. Now, Unreal has blueprints, Unity has a lot of node-based editors on the asset store, and it's in their roadmap to make a node-based editor, and there are lots of node-based editors out there. But the eventing system is my favorite non-coding coding system. And what I mean by that is that while it's non-code, meaning that you're not necessarily typing out code, you do have to add in the game logic. And the game logic in Construct 3 is really easy. Construct 3 is built for speed and it really shows in the event system. Now, I made another video saying that I really like the Unreal Engine and I've been using Unreal since the UDK days. And I really like the Unreal ecosystem. In fact, I made a course on the Unreal Engine and I use blueprints for that. And blueprints are really good. However, I find the eventing system of Construct 3 to be vastly superior to it. And the reason is, is that it's built for speed. And another reason that I love the eventing system of Construct 3 is it's so easy to understand. Now, a lot of people end up going to blueprints because they perhaps coded before and that coding is too hard. Now, when I first started game development, I had done coding before, but I wasn't necessarily amazing at it. I had to relearn a lot of concepts in a lot of new different languages to actually make the game. Now, when Construct 2 came along, I was absolutely blown way because I had made a game in Xbox 360, then I made a bunch of games in Game Salad, which was a non-coding engine for iOS devices. And at the time, iOS devices were all the rage. And when Construct 2 came along, it was so much easier and so much faster than Game Salad. And not that Game Salad was bad, it's just Construct 2 was way better and way easier. Remember, when you're making a game or you're coding a project or anything, you should always try to reduce the amount of time it takes to actually make that project. Because if you take too much time, you can lose interest and the project can fail. And you don't have to lose interest, perhaps you're one of those people that sticks everything till the end, but you might waste so much time. And by so much time, I mean months to years of your life just to complete the project. You want to minimize the time it takes to actually get the product out there so that people can enjoy whatever product that you have made. And this is one thing that a lot of people don't really teach. You should always try and maximize your productivity and your efficiency. And Construct 2 and now Construct 3 does that. 
the inventing system is so good. So one of the biggest criticisms about Construct 3 is its export. Now, I have been using Construct 3 and I'm the biggest fan of Construct 3, but the exports are a problem. It's a problem because you can only export to HTML5 and you have to wrap that HTML5 product into an iOS app, Android app, etc. This is very problematic. Now, five years ago, it was looking like web technologies was gonna be the de facto language that would run on everything. But believe it or not, that hasn't happened yet. So while web technologies are really good and I really like HTML5, it's just a pain to get onto the iPhone or Android and it's way more trouble than it actually is worth. Now, if you go to an engine like Unity or Unreal, it's a lot easier and it makes the performance to be a lot better. In fact, the exporting from Unity to the App Store or Unreal to the App Store is a lot more seamless and there's a lot less problems with that ecosystem. The other problem with Construct 3 is that it's only a 2D engine, it's not a 3D engine and I noticed that a lot of games, even if they are 2D, are using 3D engines, meaning that they can kind of move forward and back and maybe they might do a little bit of rotation, something that's technically a 3D game but to the player it looks like a 2D game. Now you can do this in Unity and you can do this in Unreal, but the thing about Construct 3 is that it is only 2D, meaning that you can't make 3D games. Now I would absolutely love the eventing system to be in Unreal, and that is what the topic of this video should be. Now of course, Epic Games and the Unreal Engine could just come up with their own eventing system, but the thing about Construct 3 is that it has a whole bunch of users and a lot of followers around the product. And it would be absolutely wonderful if Epic Games were to buy them out and use that ecosystem and get the inventing system into Unreal. Now, if the inventing system in Construct 3 was in Unreal, that would make the Unreal Engine absolutely unstoppable. It would make the Unreal Engine great because you can make games really quickly and look really good at the same time. And the other thing you can do is you can make 3D games at this speed. Because remember, you don't want to waste your time doing anything. And believe it or not, if you can do something in half the time, especially if you're working by yourself or with a small team, you definitely want to take that road. So if the inventing system in Construct 3 was in the Unreal Engine, I think making games in the Unreal Engine would take a lot less time. In fact, it would take probably a quarter of the time it normally takes. In fact, whenever I go from Unity to Construct or Unreal to Construct or any other game engine into Construct, it always takes a lot less time to actually make that game. Now, even if you do spend the same amount of time making the game, you might be working on improvements versus just fighting the code. Remember that when you're making a game or any other project, if you're fighting the code or fighting the engine in a specific way, that is not productive and is frankly the worst use of time. You want to be spending your time making your product better or even talking about it or trying to raise buzz or doing some marketing. But you don't want to be fighting the code or the engine. And whenever you do that, it's really not that good. In Construct 3, the only fighting that you have to do is when you export it. But when you're actually making the game, it's not that big a problem. So that's why I think Epic Games should buy out Skira. Let me know in the comments, have you used Construct 3? You can try it on their website. And if you really like it, let me know if you think that Epic Games should buy them out. All right, thanks for watching this video. Please be sure to like and subscribe. If this video got a thousand likes, it would mean the world to me. Remember that the more likes and subscribers we get, the more content we can make. This channel doesn't do a Patreon and said we sell our digital products down below. The more money we get from the products you buy below, the more content we can make. If you really like this channel, you can subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. We have everything from game development tutorials to Photoshop to 3D modeling, all the way to web development and machine learning tutorials on the site. We release 20 to 60 hours of fresh new content per month. If you're already a subscriber, thank you so much. You not only make Mammoth Interactive possible, but you also make this channel possible. We have monthly options and yearly options for subscribers. Thanks for listening. I'll see you in another video.